the Boise State Broncos. And, of course, first year under Andy Avalos, uh, they, uh, you know, 7-5. and five, Their postgame win expectancy uh, had them at 6.57 and 5.43. So, you know, 6-6, six and 7-5. Six, and five. They ended up 7-5. and five. Uh, their projected SP Plus record for this year is 9-3. and three. You look at the numbers from last year, and they were incredibly efficient. Number 49 in PPA margin, uh, net points per drive, they were number 36. Like, they demolished some teams, uh, went 0-3 in one-score games. The offense has got to be more explosive with the quarterback, Hank Bachmeyer. Um they lose their big play wide receiver, who was the only explosive threat they had. That was a uh, Khalil Shakir. Um, they lose, you know, defensive back uh, Kaneho, the linebacker Riley Wimpy. Um, I mean, they lose offensive linemen. Jack Sears transferred out. The running back, our backup running back Andrew Van Buren, uh, transferred out. Like they still got dudes. Um, they're number seven in the country in defensive returning production. They're number twenty three in overall returning production. Uh, strongest roster in the Mountain West this year, for sure. Uh, along with that, uh, you've got just efficiency on offense being the name of the game. Explosiveness was not. They lose the most explosive guy. Like I said, can they fix that issue? Can they bring in somebody or develop somebody into being that playmaker? I don't know that for sure yet. The offensive line is going to be good. Um, they return over four players, or excuse me, they return four players with more than 400 snaps. But their rushing success rate last year was number 91, which is something we're not used to. They've got George Halani coming back, the running back. But they I mean, they just were not able to really run the ball consistently last year. Uh, that's something that they're going to have to fix. They got to fix that on offense to be able to win some of these games. Uh, along with that, on the defensive side, studs all over the defense. They, they need to limit the explosive plays a little more. They were number 66 in defensive play rate, uh, defensive explosive play rate allowed. Um, you know, it, it bit Boise in a big way. They were n- number 64 in the country in 20-plus yard plays given up. Uh, rather than just being efficient, I'm curious if Boise can get into the backfield. They were number 90 in the country in tackles for loss last year, number 64 in sacks. So you gotta ha- you got to be a little more aggressive. Avalos usually is. I don't know why this team didn't exactly jump into that last year. Still incredibly efficient team. They were number 17 in turnover margin, number 22 in penalties per game. They were better than that 7-5 and five record. It felt like, at least the roster looked like it. Um, you know, the keys for the season for me, defense needs to get more pressure and force more tackles for loss. Uh, the offense needs to be more explosive, and they need to win more close games. I mean, going 0-3 in those one-score games last year, it, including the first game of the season, when they were up 21 to nothing on UCF and ended up losing the game. I mean, just absurd. Nothing went right in Avalos's first year last year. I and then of course, you know, the team got COVID. They couldn't even play in the uh in the bowl game. So I'm sure that he is looking to get a fresh start this go round. I have got faith in this program overall. Uh I don't know so much about Avalos, but because he is at that program. I feel good about them. I've got them going 10-2. and two. Only losses on the schedule I've got are to Fresno State and BYU. But even those Me could too. be wins. Uh, so I, I like them at 10-2. and two. I think there's a big difference between the haves and the have-nots in, in this division this year. So I do too. And we're exactly the same here. I was curious where you might have them. I've got them 10-2 and two as well. Uh, I think we're going to see a big bounce back uh, for uh, Avalos and this team. I could uh, I could certainly see it. Um, you look at what they've got now. I mean, don't get me wrong; they could they could go out and lose the first game of the season. They do play at Oregon no. State. No, you think it happen? But you think it happen? Yeah, uh, their schedule. There are. It's not like they. I mean, seven and five is not out of the realm of possibility again, because you've got right. Oregon State, you've got San Diego State, Fresno at Air Force, uh, BYU, and then Utah State to end the year. Like there are a lot of landmines here. But this is the best roster in the Mountain West, and I expect Avalos to bounce back in his second full season and and really be able to turn this thing up. So I, I've got him at ten and two, uh, and you've got him at ten and two as well. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter at GaryWCE. 
at Chris B. Giannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.